Right then. Yeah, so uh, yeah, welcome from wherever you are in the world. As I said, we're in lockdown again in the UK. So two o'clock every uh, weekday, I'm going to do a live update and that be, could, could be painting, it could be wildlife uh, and it could be the work we do with the rescue animals who get handed in, handed in here as well. So this is uh, a really exciting day. I've got something very special in here to show you and it is very small. So here we go. So this is a young weasel and this is a, a young male weasel that's uh, about four to five weeks old and as you can see it's absolutely uh, stunning little thing. So this was found by a dog walker, his dogs found it, it was cold, it was calling and it probably wouldn't have survived uh, the night last night, um, you know, out on its own, it was really struggling. And so we got, we got the call and uh, I sent Sam, uh, who works for me, to go and collect it and I said if you go and collect it, Sam, you can name it. So he's called Ron, Ron Weas from Ron Weasley from um, Harry Potter films. So uh, yeah, he's a fabulous little thing and he's absolutely fine, which is the good news, he's well. So I uh, did a FaceTime call to the person that found it and I could assess his situation uh, and I sent Will with this box uh, with some food in. So he's a carnivore, so chicken chicks. And uh, I sent him with two of those and this box, a little sleeping bag and a carpet in here. And then the really important bit of a very heat mat. So we put this heat mat underneath uh, the box and we only put it under half of the box. So we've got a weasel then that can choose how warm it wants to be. So uh, if it wants to be really warm, it goes on this side. And if it wants to cool off a bit, it goes on that side. So it's important to warm these young animals up. We also don't want to get them too warm. We don't want to cook a weasel, so because uh, uh, it could be suffering with dehydration. Um, but I could sort of tell by the f the sort of call I had yesterday, and just assessing it, I could tell it was sort of a bit in shock, very cold. Uh, but I could see just from the phone conversation I had, FaceTiming, that this weasel was going to be okay uh, with just an overnight at uh, Sam's house. And uh, yeah, so how we look after this weasel, that's the uh, interesting bit. So uh, I've got this box at the moment and it's just a wooden box with holes in. We have a carpet at the bottom and we've got his little sleeping bag in there. So he can decide where he creeps around in there. And overnight, there's two Dale chicken chicks put in there and this is what's left. <laughs> so this is a, a weasel with a healthy appetite. He was clearly really hungry and started eating straight away. So it's sort of weighing time. So I'll flip these scales around to you, as well as you, so you can see them. And this tub, they're very wriggly. So this tub's uh, designed so uh, I can pop the weasel in here and he doesn't just jump out over the edge. So uh, let's hope this works. So we're on zero grams. So we're at 47 grams there, which is about 1.7 ounces. Um, so he's sort of normal weight. He's four to five weeks old. His eyes are open and he's really wriggly. Yeah, so what, what the other things we give to the weasels when we get them in, uh, the first thing we give quite often, if it's a very tiny weasel and really struggling, is critical care formula. And then the second thing uh, we often give them is this milk, uh, powder milk, it's for puppies, uh, and it's the best one, Esbalac. Expensive, but it's the uh, best milk you can give a young mammal like this. So, and we administer that through a syringe. I think he's, he would actually survive completely fine with, uh, with just a meat meal now. And this isn't going to be easy, but sometimes we just pop it in the corner of his mouth and uh, he'll avoid and avoid and avoid. But if we just hold him steady, I'm going to just pop a little bit in 
and he'll decide or not whether he's having it. He's not. He's getting sort of a bit too old to try any of this. The other way is to soak his food in the Asbillac. And uh, but by another couple of days, I'll probably have him cooperating with taking a little bit of milk. But that's how we do it, often with a really tiny teat on the syringe. Um, yeah, so that's our new little run. Is there anything else I think you think I should cover there, Will? Um, gender. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a male. Yeah, he's, he's called Ron, so he's a male. And how we tell he's a male is very simple, just like a dog. Um, he tiddles from in his tummy, whereas a uh, female tiddles from her back end. So it's a very simple thing to be able to tell whether it's a male or a female, but I saw it on camera and I knew straight away it was a male because of his size. So female weasel in total is 65 grams. He's 47. Uh, so he'll grow uh, to 140, 160 grams, so more than double the weight, quite often of a, of a female weasel. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's today's live. So yes, yeah, so tune in. Uh, we're going to do Facebook. We're going to do YouTube at two o'clock every day, uh, every weekday, uh, and try and uh, bring you some updates from the wells. It's a glorious day out here today. Uh, but these things never stop moving, they're fabulous. I'll just give you one last look at him. Beautiful. Um, release or captive? Yeah, so we'll, we'll just, um, you know, make some decisions about what we're going to do with him, uh, sort of long term. It is coming into winter, so we can't just simply raise him a little bit now and then think about releasing him in a few weeks because we're heading into winter. So the other way, uh, I got the phone call last night, uh, the other way I knew it was a weasel is weasels actually can give birth at different times of year, whereas stoats, which are very similar, stoats are very fixed, so they give birth in March and April, and that, that's it, no other time of year here in the UK, and they, um, yeah, so weasels can have up to two litters a year, sometimes even three if the food's good. So quite a different uh, breeding sort of cycle. Stoats can do delayed implantation, whereas weasels, um, they mate, uh, they're pregnant, and then they give birth. Um, but yeah, wonderful little thing. Very wriggly. <laughs> right, goodbye from uh, Fotherdale, and we'll see you on Monday. And we'll give you an update on Monday on this little guy and how he's got on over the weekend. Thanks. Thanks for joining us.